Hi y'all, this is Guy here, The Unknown, and today I want us to look at something very important. I want us to look at some common mistakes made by most traders, and these are mistakes that are vital in the industry and will cost you your consistency. So I, until you mitigate this kind of mistakes, then consistency might keep being a dream, okay? So I'm going to mention these mistakes and actually show you how to mitigate them because I experienced these mistakes way too many times and they costed me okay so guys i've learned the hard way and i'm gonna share everything with you so if you're still new hit that subscription button like comment and share for the algorithm i want this content to reach as many people as it can so that it can help many people guys as you see here i've written psychology and i've highlighted it this is the biggest mistake that people are making out there okay and all other mistakes that i'll be mentioning will actually be derived from this big mistake okay the most important of the mistake that most traders are making is jumping straight to charts i know everybody wants to be a trader and i know that feeling okay i know that feeling you feel so inspired and you want to be a trader or you are a trader and you're struggling with consistency and you don't know what you're doing wrong okay we have a stats that actually says 95 percent of retail guys are losing and that simply means this money has been taken by, by market makers or professional guys okay so one thing professional guys do better than retail guys is they start with psychology, okay? They start with psychology. Trading psychology is important, guys. It's important. I can never emphasize the importance enough, okay? Most people think that charts uh, hold the biggest percentage in terms of trading success. No, no, no. That's wrong, okay? Trading psychology holds over 80% okay of trading success okay and charts all uh, uh, actually hold about 20 percent okay so you can see the importance and this is mainly because most of the problems you'll actually encounter through trading will be self-made okay so most losses are actually uh, due to self-sabotage let me explain this quite quick each and every human being has two kinds of brains okay we have the left brain we have the brain on the right side okay okay so we have two types of brain there's a brain located on the left side and there's a brain located on the right side so this brain is the biggest problem and this brain is used by less people and it's the it's actually the most beautiful thing any human being can have okay and one thing i love about trading is that it brings the best out of us it pushes us into becoming the best uh, versions of ourselves okay and it reveals a lot of things about us okay so here's the thing this brain makes a decision based on experience okay okay so what happens is uh the left brain takes every experience and formulates a picture and puts that picture in to the into the brain and it's gonna actually make all its decisions based on this kind of pictures okay so it could be good or or bad experience bad experience whatever experience you have in you that's what will make decisions on your daily life okay so let me just say from childhood as human being we go through different kind of things many things are said to us and many things are said about us okay we mostly most of us actually grew in a an environment where everything was unfavorable okay you speak about big dreams everybody will call you into something called reality that's reality to them they tell you that this is impossible this is impossible this can't be done okay this can't be done you can't be this you can't reach this level you can't reach here okay so all of those things actually formulate a picture into our brain and every decision will be taken from that picture okay i don't want to make this video long but i want to make it as detailed as detailed as i can okay so when you come to your charts it is these images that will actually be used to interpret the information generated from the charts okay even if you have the best strategy okay these are the pictures that will be making decisions on your behalf you might not believe this you might not think this is the case but this is reality uh the belief you have about 
say maybe success, the belief you have about maybe money, the belief you have about life in general is what will be used to interpret information in the charts, okay? And I'll explain that in a moment. However, the right brain makes decisions based on intelligence, okay? The intelligence. This brain is intelligent and it makes decisions based on... Uh, uh, the unknown, okay, the unknown, okay, this one makes decision based on rational, okay, what makes sense, so let me give you an example, if somebody says, give me this hundred dollars and in two days, I'm going to give you ten thousand dollars, okay, the left brain will say no, don't give it, okay, this is where you want to hold on to what you have, and you don't want to let go to receive more, it's because the left brain is more protective, okay, and this brain, however, it's open to exploring, this brain has no bad image in it, okay, so it uses intelligence, it makes decision based on uh, uh, the unknown, okay, okay, so this one is open to taking risk, okay, uh, it it makes a uh, decision based on uh, uh, the subconscious, okay? So, guys, this is important, and I'll give you an example. Say, for instance, you have bad experience, okay? You have never won in your life. I mean, like, you don't believe, like, everything was, like, negative, okay? And most of the negative outcomes are derived from our our beliefs so say for instance you don't believe much in yourself you have low self-confidence you don't believe you can make it you don't see yourself being the best in the world okay so this will actually be interpreted in the graphs how say for instance you are you have a win rate a win rate okay win rate of uh 75 75 percent okay and uh, you have a risk reward ratio of 1 is to 5, okay? 75% is too much. I don't want people uh, actually uh, hurting themselves to get that big, big win rate, okay? Because even a win rate of 40 is still good, okay? So, say maybe out of 100 trades, you win 50. And you actually risk $1 to make $5. And if you actually... Uh, win 50 that means you won 50 times 5 okay and if you lose 50 you lost 50 times 1 okay in terms of the dollar okay so say for instance you are risking hundred dollars to make five hundred dollars okay and you are in a position that is up uh 250 dollars okay and because you don't believe in yourself you don't believe in yourself okay you don't believe in yourself you have low self-confidence and the left brain actually has bad experiences, okay? Okay? So, what's going to happen is, you're going to come, the moment you open your charts, okay? Because preferably what we do is, we sometimes open a trade, that's what I love. Open it and wait it to go for one hour. You can come and check how it's behaving after an hour, okay? Uh, say maybe you come after an hour and you five, you find that it's in profit $200 and immediately you feel like, oh, this is too much. This is too much for me. Yo, 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 I made it today. Blah, blah, blah. You close it. Even though you can see that at the moment, uh, the move is strong and it's going towards your take profit and it's just strong. Okay. There's no sign of reversing. Okay. But because uh, your left brain, is, has pictures of bad experiences there are times when like things were going good and eventually they tend to be bad in your life and all sort of things now you now you don't believe okay you don't believe in in, in becoming good you've never been the best or whatsoever those are the images that are in your brain okay and they are the ones that make decisions on your charts okay so you're gonna close because now you feel like hey everything will be taken away from you okay so this is uh an example where your left brain sabotages you okay and remember if you are lose if you are risking hundred dollars to make two hundred two hundred fifty dollars that simply means uh, you are risking hundred dollars to make five hundred dollars i mean and right now just because when you come to the charts you are up two hundred fifty dollars and you want to close it because you are scared it might be taken away from you 
That's how things have been throughout your life, okay? So, by just closing this one, you have accepted a profit of 2 is to 5, 2.5, okay? 1 is to 2.5, whereas your original uh, risk reward is 1 is to 5. And please, guys, bear in mind that I'm not talking about the fact where or an instance where you come to your charts and you realize that, oh, now the market is giving a reversal pattern that is most likely to go against you. Okay, I'm not talking about anything like that. The move is moving strong in your diary. Actually, when you come, you don't even care about looking at how the move is or how the market is. And at the time, you find that the market is making, maybe you sold, okay? You sold. And now the market is actually making a uh, lower highs and lower lows lower highs and lower lows okay that means this market is going in your direction and the strength is strong the the the, the trend is strong you don't care about this the first thing you come to do is to close and then you look at it later and then you just start regretting guys i did this a lot okay i did this a lot because uh there's a lot that we go through as children and there's a lot that we are made to believe as kids okay so i did this mistake a lot of time and it's a psychological problem you are not aware until you f discover that oh this is just a psychological problem okay that you can easily mitigate okay so guys th start with psychology because if you don't start with psychology there's a lot of mistakes you're gonna make okay there's a lot of mistakes you're gonna make you won't actually allow your profits to run okay you won't allow your profits to run and sometimes you'll find that uh you actually say for instance you're risking hundred dollar to make five hundred dollars but there are times when you can see you open a trade and immediately you can see that mm -mm -mm, the market is behaving in a very very bad way and you're down fifty fifty dollar at the moment okay okay and you can see that this is gonna be a loss okay however you are not uh, willing to close the $50 loss. You are hoping it's going to reverse. I'm not talking about uh, instances where like it's just a pullback. Okay. I'm talking about instances where you can see that now I'm wrong. Okay. There are times when you see that has happened to me quite a lot of times. And now you don't want to close the loss because you are hoping it's going to go back. Okay. So these are other forms of a psychological problems okay so as i said i'm gonna be mentioning other problems separately but they are all actually derived from psychological problems okay so guys uh start with psychology and how can you mitigate this problem you can read a book called uh, trading in the zones by mark douglas i'm not affiliated that book will really change your perspective and about uh, everything and it will actually uh, solve uh, 90 percent of your trading uh psychological issue okay because there's a lot of uh 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 psychological mistakes that people make okay in sense jumping the gun entering too early uh fear of missing out that's a psychological problem not allowing your wins to run not cutting your losses short all those things are part of uh, trading psychology and until you know this you won't even be uh, aware of uh, what you are doing wrong until the time when you are really ready to start dealing with the pain because losses cause pain okay so uh, to simplify this read a book called trading in the zones or the discipline trader by mike douglas okay wherever you can find it just get your hands on it and read it okay because the charts will only play 20% towards your trading life success, okay? However, uh, trading psychology is going to play 80%. Okay, right now, let me jump to the second mistake that people make, okay? This is actually risk management. And talking about risk management, it's also derived from trading psychology. When you solve trading psychology, you will actually solve the risk management automatically. Why? Because uh, risk management is actually, uh, okay, let me, let's talk about risk management, okay? Risk management, okay? Risk management is actually a problem that images uh, fr 
from a, tra a problem caused by trading psychology. However, this one to separate it, it's mostly formed by overconfidence. Okay. Overconfidence. Guys, let me explain something to you. Okay. There is randomness in every trade you take. Okay. There is randomness in every trade you take. Okay. And Mark Douglas puts it in a right way. There is random distribution between every trade you take. Okay. Because there are certain uh, factors you can't control. You can't control who's opening a trade right now. And you can't control who's closing a trade right now. However, you do know th that those are factors that will actually uh, affect your trades. Okay. So, if you're overconfident, say for instance, you have won f uh, five trades consecutively. And now you're feeling like you're ch you are a chess master. You're feeling like you're Jackie Chan. You're feeling like you're Bruce Lee. You're feeling like, yes, you got it all figured out. Okay. So say for instance, you are risking $100 to make $500. This is one is to five risk reward ratio. Okay. And all of a sudden you have won five. That means you have made uh, uh, $2,500. Okay. And all of a sudden you think like, ah, oh, no man, I'm playing, I'm playing. Had I opened a very big position uh, uh, throughout the past previous trade I've taken, I would have made it big. And now you tell yourself that you're going to risk uh, $2,000 or $2,100, okay, $2,000. Remember, you have been risking $1 to, ma to make $500 and now you have just won five and make $2,000 thousand five hundred dollars and now you're feeling overconfident you feel like oh you must make a lot of money now and now you're gonna risk the whole two thousand dollars to make whatever okay uh, maybe to make ten thousand dollars uh twenty thousand dollars actually okay maybe to make twenty thousand dollars and now you are actually taking your trade pro from the perspective of how much you can make you are calculating your results before you calculate how much you can lose okay you are not comfortable losing 2000 however you have figured out the markets because you have won the, uh, the 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 previous five trades consecutively and now you're actually not comfortable but you are a master and you open a trade and on your sixth trade actually it's a loss it's a loss because there is random distribution between wins and losses every trade you open at the moment might be a loss or a win you don't know okay because you don't move the markets Trust your process, okay? Take your process every day and allow the market to play out. They will either prove you wrong or right. If they prove you right, you're going to get paid for that. If you are wrong, you're going to pay the price of actually uh, getting the opportunity to know if you were right or wrong, okay? That's just production costs, okay? Every business has production costs. But now because you're overconfident, your business doesn't have production costs. There's no... Uh, risk you are actually putting down because you are the master at this moment okay so your sixth trade is a loss and oh unfortunately you lost two thousand dollars it took you five trades to make two thousand five hundred dollars and now it's taking you one trade to lose two thousand dollars because you are now overconfident okay so you failed in risk management and what's the what was the problem overconfidence overconfidence okay this is one of the biggest problem i see most people making and i've made this problem okay i actually made this i made this a uh, mistake no problem sorry okay i made this mistake too many times okay okay so that's why i'm aware of it guys 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 just know that there is randomness in every trade you take it could be a win or a loss so let's say you have a win rate of 50 percent that means out of 100 out of 100 trades, you're going to win 50 and lose 50. So now just because you won five in a row, that doesn't mean your strategy has gone from 50 to 100%. No, it simply means out of the 50 wins that you have and the 50 loss that you have, you have actually been winning. So what was happening is you are winning your, f uh, you won five out of the fifties you can win. There's still room for 50 losses. 
okay so always know like P paul tudor jones one thing he says he says he thinks of each and every trade he takes as a loss okay and look at paul tudor jones he's one of the most successful trader or hedge fund manager or investor as he calls himself okay however look at this guys look at this look at this look at this if paul tudor jones the best in the world is actually thinking of each and every position he takes as a loss do you know what that less what that teaches us what lesson that gives to us it tells us that any any position can end up as being a loss so risk something you are, you are actually willing to risk to lose okay say for instance you were comfortable losing a uh, hundred dollars to make to to make five hundred dollars and all of a sudden because of all overconfidence you felt like you can lose uh you, you felt like you're gonna win actually you, you, there was no loss in your equation there was no loss in your in 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 in, in, in your mind when you were taking this trade however because of randomness, it ended up being a loss. So guys, risk what you can afford to risk, okay? And increase your lot slowly, slowly over time, okay? Yes, uh, trading using small lots is like, it won't take you anywhere if you stick to that. However, if as you are taking those small lots, your account is growing, your experience is growing, okay? That's the most important part, okay? You can't buy experience, you can't buy experience. However, both of your experience and your account is growing that's when after time say maybe after six months you increase your lot consistently you can say okay i increase my lot every six months consistently okay so that will save you okay that's what will allow you to build a big business but always think about how much you can lose before even calculating how much you can win think about how much you can lose are you comfortable i've seen people breaking their computers you know people do crazy things i've seen people being angry not talking to people after they've lost guys 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 the biggest problem is you over leveraged or you exposed more than you can afford to lose to the markets okay always risk what you can afford okay always risk something that gives you peace like Paul Tudor Jones says, he doesn't want to come to his computer and find losses that will actually make him feel bad or stressed. No, when he he actually said he doesn't want to feel scared to actually open his computer because he might find big losses. No, 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 he doesn't want that. So he takes something he can afford to lose. So when you come to see or to, to 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 actually observe how your trade has gone you don't feel scared if you lost you lost it's part of the game okay it's part of the game it's production cause okay so always make sure you risk what you can afford okay 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 think about how much you can lose before thinking about how much you can win okay the same applies to those who are actually doing um whole uh, it could be uh what do you call it i'm not a gambler so what do you call it is it better bet or whatsoever where people actually go uh, actually guess the results of game of sports uh games okay ah uh, it's what i forgot about it but one thing i know about that is because uh, it's the fact that actually the more teams you put the bigger the result the reward becomes and the bigger the reward becomes the slimmer the chances of winning becomes if say for instance you are guessing one team chiefs pirates you have to choose if one is going to win lose or draw that's going to be so easy however the reward is going to be very very small the more teams you add the difficult it becomes to be correct okay however the bigger the reward so you must always know there is a catch when the reward is big, just know that there is a catch, okay? So, guys, it's not about the reward. It's about uh, growing consistently. And consistency is actually not winning, winning, winning. Consistency is actually uh, winning, losing, winning, winning, losing, winning, losing, 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 winning, okay? It's, it's, it's allowing your risk, uh, your, your, your win rate to play out. Out of 100 trades, win 50, lose 50. When you have completed 100 trades and you've won 50 and you have actually lost 50, that's what we call consistency, okay? Okay, now you're using a win rate or a, a risk reward ratio of 1 is to 5. That's what gives you profits, not this thing of over-risking, okay? I know when you look at Instagram, you see people making a lot of money. One thing you don't know, you don't even know. First of all, you don't know if it's a real account. Secondly, th uh, secondly, you don't know how much the account is 
okay you don't know that account size some of the people will make a lot of money uh whereas they are risking less than one percent okay there are people who have millions in their accounts and the fact that they made maybe uh fifty thousand in a trade you find that oh they only risk less than one percent and they made 50,000 because the account size is too big. You have a smaller size account and you want to compare yourself with somebody or else you find that, okay, the, pe the person you're actually uh, trying to, 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 to become like is actually using a demo account. Oh, if you don't know, let me tell you something. These days, you can actually get a live account, a an account that is uh, termed live, okay? It shows live on it, but it's a demo account, okay? I was approached by multiple brokers actually uh, for, for the sake of marketing and they wanted me to actually use that kind of an account. It will say live, but it will be a demo. Okay. Those accounts I actually use for, for marketing purposes. Okay. So don't uh, believe just because it says live, you believe it's live. No, brokers can tweak that for the sake of bringing in many clients. This is mostly done by people who will actually say they will manage your accounts by people who are actually uh, saying you'll copy their trades or whatsoever, okay? They are actually given live accounts which are not live by brokers, okay? The same applies to... Uh, okay, guys, the same applies to, to pro firms. For so long, for so long, people have been deceived by most pro firms. Profems have been telling you are trading a live account. That account is termed live, okay, on your terminal, but it's just a simulation account. So there are accounts that will be termed live, whereas they are not even live, okay? Okay, I've been approached by multiple brokers and they were actually trying to give me that kind of a deal, okay? But obviously, my goal is to make everybody a good trader. I don't want to uh, give like copy trades or whatsoever i want everybody to be able to trade okay so that's the most important thing to me personally that's why i didn't take those offers okay so guys i just want you to be aware don't compare yourself okay so another mistake that people are actually making is not allowing their wins to run not allowing wins to run okay this is a very very common mistake okay and i made this mistake too many times okay not allowing wins to run as i've already said all these other mistakes are driven from psychology okay there's a saying that says cut your losses cut losses and hold hold wins okay Guys, this is important. This is important, okay? Allow your wins to run. Allow your trade to hit your take profit, okay? Don't be emotional about pullbacks. We all know that if it's a downtrend, it's going to do this, okay? So here's the problem. People want to sell here. The moment they see red candles, they're jumping out of it. Guys, it's going to make this. And the reason it makes this is because they know that there are many people who can't make decisions. There's a lot of indecisions in the market. There are people who sold, but they are not selling. They just wanna, they just wanna ride on that uh, quick move down. Okay, they not, they don't wanna see pullbacks, guys, guys, guys. It doesn't matter what time frame you're using. If you're using the one minute time frame, it's gonna have pullbacks. If you're using the five minute time frame, pullbacks. One hour time frame, pullbacks. Four hour time frame, pullback. Daily time frame pullbacks weekly time frame pullbacks okay there's gonna be pullbacks every now and then so allow your wins to run however cut your losses short okay this is a common mistake guys it's a common mistakes and it's basically derived from uh from from psychology and the reason market makers are getting away with this is because they know that people haven't done trading psychology their emotions are still all over the place and if the emotions are all over the place then whenever you see a red candle it's a big problem whereas it's just a pullback that's why most of the time what i prefer is take it close your charts come back after an hour see what is happening chances are based on your time frame 
if say for instance you have taken uh, the one hour the, the 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 15 minute time frame or the five minute time frame if you are on a five minute time frame or on a one minute time frame that coming back after an hour you will find a lot of pullbacks okay however if you're on a 15 minute time frame coming back you will see maybe uh an inside bar or whatsoever okay however take some time off and just allow your 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 trade to run okay just allow your trade to run and actually um i think this is another problem uh which is big i did it a lot sometimes you have to face reality and know that trading is a boring in it's 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 it's, it's, a, it's a boring career okay it's boring 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 trading is boring guys trading is boring and until you make peace with the fact that trading is boring you will not see profits let me tell you why sorry before you even jump uh you open a trade right now okay you want to look at it every five minutes because you want to feel busy that's what i do actually that's what i used to do okay i actually believe in working throughout the day or working many hours and sometimes when you take a trade you're gonna feel like oh no 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 now you're feeling bored now you are actually uh you feel like you're doing nothing you feel like you're lazy and you feel like nothing is being done right okay guys trading is boring you're gonna take your trade sometimes you will wait for three hours for it to hit your take profit depending on the kind of trader you are are you seeing intraday or long term sometimes you'll have to wait for days for it to hit your take profit okay so you must understand that this is one of the most boring careers you can ever be in okay it's boring and just because it's boring uh doesn't mean that if you are not on the market maybe you have an on an open trade you open a trade during london and this move is strong okay and now you have to wait uh uh for london to 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 actually uh, uh and close or whatsoever okay or maybe you have taken a trade during london and you know that okay this move is strong this move might continue during the u.s session and now you have to hold your trade for about six hours and you think you are doing nothing guys trading is boring okay so just make peace with that trading is boring you're gonna open your trades and you're gonna have to wait for your take profit to be hit that's just reality okay so stop looking at your trade every five minutes okay keep yourself busy read go out do whatsoever you can play games okay because that's the that's the reality okay the reason you find most people not being able to let their profits run is because they want to check every five minutes and when you go and check you find a very big uh reversal guys there's gonna be stop hunts there's gonna be stop hunts let me show you something if a move is going down like this okay maybe you sold around uh london and asia and and u.s equity time open uh, equity time opens like it's 9 30 u.s time 3 30 south african time what's most likely to happen is uh the equity time is gonna throw a stop hunt and people have a misunderstanding when it comes to stop hunt guys a stop hunt is 25 to 50 pips okay so what's gonna happen is actually the fact that this trade can go back in 25 to 50 pips this is a stop hunt closing everybody who's entering along the way and then it will continue it's just a pullback okay and just because you want to keep being on your charts every five minutes every five you are not allowing your trade to run okay you are not allowing your trade to run why do you ever take profit in the first place trust the process the reason you place that take profit is because you did your analysis right okay and that is the reason you are actually now uh uh placing your take profit so trust your process let it run okay you can just come when uh whenever you come maybe after the equity has traded and then you actually close uh, you lock not close you lock your profits you lock your profits like you trail your stops to where you are winning and allow your trade to run okay cut your losses short use a stop loss okay use a stop loss if you are wrong you must exit immediately and okay just make sure you're putting your stop loss at a point whereby if it's hit your trade is now invalidated your setup is invalidated okay and you are satisfied because if you put your stops at a place whereby 
if there are hits still the chances that your setup is still valid then you're gonna have a problem you're gonna end up opening multiple trades getting close opening again getting close opening again and that's something you don't want okay so make sure you put your stops at a place whereby if they are triggered your setup has been invalidated you are satisfied and you just move on okay so that's the most important thing okay so i think this one we have explained it allow your trades to run know that this is a, one of the most boring industries okay so take your position and allow it to hit your profit okay the only time you can close is if you you can now see that they're near your take profit however they are starting to give you a reversal pattern that's when you can close okay that's where you can close there's nothing wrong about about that or with that but there's a time when most people come and then they find okay say for instance you you risk a thousand dollars okay to make ten thousand dollars okay i'm just giving or you risk five one thousand dollars to make one thousand dollars to make five thousand dollars and you come to your screen and you find that there is two thousand five hundred dollars okay and you are closing why are you closing because it hasn't hit your take profit and the move is still strong in your direction rather lock than close okay rather trail your stops to a point whereby you are in profit if they come and close you then you'll exit at a profit rather than closing allow your wins to run because your losses most of the time you won't have the opportunity to to cut them short they will hit your stop loss okay they will hit your stop loss that is if you're gonna if you are risking a thousand to make five thousand then if they go against you they're gonna take this whole thousand okay whereas when you are winning you are comfortable taking uh 2005 uh 2500 or else you come and find that you are in a profit of a thousand now you are on one is to one but you're closing okay just because you're not allowing your wins to run that's a huge problem okay and uh let's go to one last uh problem it's uh actually let me just say guessing okay guessing guessing okay guessing that people want to guess now today we have non-form it's friday we have non-form 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 that people want to be guessing news guys 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 it's not only guessing news but whenever you come to your charts and you find that you have to guess okay you have to guess in other words you don't know what the markets might do that simply means the fact that you don't know simply means you don't have an edge if you don't have an edge you don't want to be in a market every trade you open should actually be influenced or determined by op or an opportunity that you have okay that's highly important it should be determined by an opportunity that you have so if you don't have an edge if you don't have an opportunity don't open okay don't open stop the guessing game if you don't have a strategy you need a strategy you need a setup you need entry criteria if you don't have that then go and study again okay today's non-farm everybody will be trying to guess directions is it selling is it buying here's the problem it's not only about is it selling is it buying no there are weeks so there's a third uh, possibility that is introduced and most people don't account for the fact that they are weeks okay so if you are really really willing or planning to build a long-term business you don't have to be guessing okay wait patiently wait patiently 2 30 exactly us uh, south african time there's gonna be non-farm relief the markets are gonna move like crazy for maybe 15 minutes to 30 minutes okay so the move uh from 230 to maybe 245 or 2 3 o'clock south african time is gonna be influenced by news so let that move go okay let it go okay wait for uh wait for three o'clock see if they haven't given you anything on three o'clock but most of the time when the equity opens when the equity i repeat when the equity opens they will give you a very very beautiful trade okay after everybody has been charged by the news okay so relax guys relax 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 don't guess directions they will give an opportunity either after either 15 minutes after the news either 30 minutes after the news either uh, one hour after the news okay it could be 
45 minutes after the news they can give you the good trade at four o'clock south african time that is obviously two hours after the news have traded so guys relax 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 okay don't guess directions don't guess directions they want you to guess let me tell you what's going to happen during the news there was a time i used to guess okay uh and i was there's this time i opened a trade uh, right before the news and guess what happened i opened it two minutes before the news guess what happened I was my stop loss and my entry were 50 pips apart but when I was placing them they were actually 10 pips apart so you can see they're gonna increase the spreads and spreads are not your friend spreads are gonna you know what spreads are gonna ruin everything okay they will introduce slippage or spreads okay you know that during news they increase their spreads okay so you okay let me just explain what spreads are spreads are the costs you are paying to actually open a position so you must know that the higher the spreads the more you are paying the broker and the more you are paying the moment you place your order you're gonna start at a very huge negative why because you paid the broker sometimes they'll go 100 pips and you find that you're only uh, 30 pips into profit it happens all the time during news okay so the best practice according to my experience is to wait until the news have traded yes there's gonna be some crazy moves but believe me way bigger moves are gonna come when the news settle when the news settle spreads are gonna go back to normal and there are gonna be crazy opportunities believe me okay so wait 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 they will show you what they are doing and pay attention to the closing price pay attention to the high pay attention to the low okay and pay attention to what they did from monday where they pulling people into a certain direction so that they can reverse on friday remember they nobody will get a free lunch okay yes they can keep going up but remember nobody will get a free lunch that's the markets that's their behavior that's what they're gonna do so stop the guessing game okay either when there's news or when there's no news if you don't have an edge if you don't know what to do do nothing jim uh it's the, the this is who said this is jim rogers yeah it's jim rogers actually yes it's jim rogers who actually said if you don't know what to do do nothing um uh, paul tudor jones says this all the time if you don't know what to do do nothing and uh george soros also says this if you don't know what to do do nothing okay so guys if you don't know what to do the fact that the news will be trading and it's either it's gonna go up or it's gonna go down you don't know what's gonna be doing you don't know what's gonna happen you don't have an edge okay you don't have an edge okay so if you don't have an edge do nothing wait until they show you their hand pay close attention to the pay close attention to the closing price yesterday's closing pay close attention to the high pay close attention to the low and pay close attention to what they've been doing the past five days okay okay there i wish you all the best guys